Russia detains man for passing data on Ukraine conflict to US diplomats, as reported by AFP. Moscow says it has detained a Russian citizen and former US consulate employee in the city of Vladivostok for allegedly passing information about the Ukraine conflict to American diplomats. A Federal Security Service statement says, the illegal activities of Robert Robertovich Shonov have been suppressed and accuses him of being an informant for the US Embassy in Moscow. Syrian state news agency Sana reports, citing a military source said Israeli strikes on Aleppo airport in northern Syria caused the grounding of flights on Monday. Israeli airstrikes on Aleppo airport in northern Syria caused the grounding of flights and damage to the runway on Monday, Syrian state news agency Sana reports, citing a military source. During more than 12 years of civil war in Syria, Israel has launched hundreds of airstrikes, primarily targeting Iran-backed forces and Lebanese Hezbollah fighters, as well as Syrian army positions. More details awaited. Microsoft has revealed that a China-based hacking group known as Flax Typhoon has been targeting numerous Taiwanese government agencies with the likely intention of conducting espionage. Taiwan has consistently accused China of cyber espionage activities on its government networks given China's territorial claims over the self-ruled island. Since mid-2021, Flax Typhoon, identified as a nation-state actor based in China, has primarily focused on government agencies, education institutions, critical manufacturing, and information technology organizations in Taiwan. Microsoft's observations indicate that the threat actor's objective is espionage and maintaining long-term access to a wide range of industries. However, Microsoft has not observed Flax Typhoon carrying out its final objectives in this campaign. On Sunday, during a military exercise in Australia, an Osprey Phi 22B helicopter crashed on Melville Island, resulting in the deaths of three US Marines and leaving five others in serious condition. The incident occurred at 9.30 a.m. local time, with a total of 23 Marines on board. The Marines were participating in Exercise Predators Run. Recovery efforts are currently underway, and the cause of the incident is under investigation. U.S. Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin expressed condolences to the families of the deceased and injured. An Indian Air Force contingent reached Egypt to participate in a multilateral tri-service exercise which will be held at Cairo West Air Base from August 27th to September 16th. Touchdown at the Egyptian Air Force Base in Cairo, our home for the next three weeks, IAF said in a post on X, formerly known as Twitter. Exercise Bright Star 23 is a biennial multilateral exercise. For the first time, IAF is participating in this exercise, which will also see participation of contingents from the United States of America, Saudi Arabia, Greece and Qatar. Some media reports also say that even Pakistan is participating in the exercise with its JF-17 Thunder and not with F-16S, which have a US embargo for such participation. Although Pakistan participation is not yet officially confirmed, 